Hey all, welcome to Forest County, Pennsylvania and the Forest County Outback Channel, combining history with the outdoors. Now today we are headed back to one of my favorite spots. We're back on Little Hickory. We're going to the Cross Furnace and we're going to check out the rumor of a structure that I apparently missed. Okay, first things first, Forest County Outback now has a Facebook group. And if you haven't uh, checked it out, check it out. It's, it's, it's a group. You do have to ask, it's a private group. You have to ask to join. I didn't want anybody, just anybody to be able to post stuff on there. I'm really not interested in the Kardashians. Uh, if you are, then this ain't for you. Now you may have noticed little Hickory is running low we're in a drought situation have been most of the summer although i'm sure people out west would trade our version of drought for their version of drought in a heartbeat i usually don't like to come out here be this time of year because of ground cover and the uh and the bugs but the video i was planning to do i really needed a cameraman for that and he's not available this week so i took this opportunity to get out here I wanted to scout out the stream below the furnace to see if there's anything of interest to come back later to look at. Plus, I have heard of another structure up here that supposedly was a roasting furnace. And that's uh, something that's really interesting, at least, at least it is to history nerds like me and you. And so I wanted to get out here, check it check it out I, I didn't want to wait I, I'm an American I demand instant gratification I, I believe it's a constitutional right if it's, if it's not it should be in there so anyhow this is Forest County Outback 30 the cross per furnace part 5 now if you're new to the channel okay I did a four-part series on the cross furnace and you should go back and watch those and there there there's four parts they're kind of lengthy but they but they all they all complement each other. I think they, it's episode, starts with episode 12, and it's just episode 12, Cross Furnace Part 1, episode 13, Part 2, like that. And you should watch them all. And, okay, let's go. Now, I don't know that this pile of stones here, this grouping of stones, is anything. But it just really looks, it, it looks odd. I, I it looks, I, it looks to me like there was some type of structure here at one time. You see the size of these rocks? And there aren't that many big rocks in this stream. It's like these were collected and placed here. And again, I don't know what it could have been. And we're down below the mill, we're actually below the furnace, and we're down below the the raceway for the uh, water-powered sawmill. All right, I need to amend that statement about that group of stones being below the the tail race from the sawmill, it's actually a little bit above it. Huh. 
Huh. Okay, so that's that's a mystery. Okay, so here's the wheel pit for the water-powered sawmill. And if you don't know what that's about, go back and watch the uh, the Cross Furnace series. Get some more views, get some likes. So, stream is right over there. And we're going to go back and follow it some more. Until we get up the furnace run. Alright, we're back at the site of the furnace. There's a slag pile over there. There's the furnace. Another slag pile. And then that ore roaster is supposedly on upstream up by the uh, the big open pit ore mine so turned out to be a hot day it was nice this morning down in the 50s but whew, getting nasty now <clears throat> okay we are up past the furnace, past the area where the we thought the stone Iron Master's house would be, and we're up to the site of the 1905 steam powered sawmill. And I, I can't think of the guy's name right now. But that line over there, that's the back side of the dam for that mill. And the mill was over there. So you got this low spot in here and then this is higher ground here and there was some kind of a structure in here there's a outline, stone outline uh, let me get a better angle it was pretty obvious okay so there was some kind of a small structure in here It always pays to come back to a place because there's there's always stuff you missed. So anyhow, we're going to keep going up here to where I think that ore roaster was, and there's a couple pits up here which I think may think may have been uh, ore deposits, in addition to the ones we looked at in the previous videos. Right. Now that's behind me. I'll show you in a minute is one of those trenches I can't figure out whether it was they were co following a uh, vein of ore or it was part of an old stream course. So today we have LiDAR again, such as it is. Uh, let's see. So it doesn't show up very well. <coughs> Excuse me. It really doesn't show up very well on this. We have a bad connection and some days the LiDAR is really crisp and and at and some days it's not this is a not day and plus I have a crappy printer but Okay, so this is the stream here. The mill was down this was down this this way So we have these two things here, which I think were veins of ore now As you come around here, this is that open pit mine and if you don't know what I'm talking about re review the original uh series but it doesn't show up here but there is looks like there may have been a structure up here and this up is the ore mine at the top of, of the mountain here so it would make sense if they had an ore roaster it would be between these two sources of ore now if we look on the this is the slope yeah okay you can see these these trenches here and then here's the, the mine and the mine on top of the hill, the open pit, open pit mine here. And then right in here, it looks like that might be the structure. So we're going to go up there and we're going to climb up the hill and take a look at it. And then on the aspect, it's just, you know, there's the trenches, the nothing else really shows up over here. And, uh, yeah, like I said, we have a bad connection, and 
it, it's just you know one of the uh, people ask me because I go out in the woods by myself a lot you know about if I'm worried like about Bigfoot or something like that. Well, I'll tell you what, the only thing, I don't believe in Bigfoot. I think the only thing more mythical and unbelievable than Bigfoot is the promise of high-speed internet coming to all the county residents. And we've been hearing that song and dance for about 25 years. <laughs> Every time there's an article in the paper uh, about how they're gonna improve it, it's just like, okay, yeah, another snooze fest. It's never gonna get to our place. If you happen to be a county commissioner watching this and you think I'm taking a shot at you, you're right, I am. So anyhow, here is uh, what I think. Okay, come on. Okay, there we go. Tripod is acting up on me. And anyhow, this is what I think may have been a vein of ore, but it also could have been an old water course. The uh, little hickory may have run over here at one time. And there's another section on up. And, and the reason I'm, I'm questioning whether this was a water course or not, I'll show you the upper end of it here. So there's a little hickory over here. And you come across here. I, I suppose that could have been filled in at one time. But, yeah, it just, I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell. And then, like I said, there's another little stretch of it on up here. Over that way. So here's the other section, I think. May have been a small war vein. And you see, it looks like there's a trail heading down that way towards the other vein. Okay. Onward and upward. Okay, here's that open pit mine. And from the upper end up there, we're going to head up the hill. Okay, there's an ore roaster. It should be up there somewhere. Uh, it should be fun, eh? Okay, the mine is back that way on the other side of the stream, but there's an old road here. Hard to believe. Okay. So we're gonna check out this little bowl here. But that structure, what well, looks like a structure that I'm looking for is up in that direction. Okay, this is that little bowl I was talking about. It looks like there was another mine in here. All right. All right, we're going to head up that way and see if we can find anything up there. Now, an ore roaster was just that. It was used to roast the ore, dried it out, broke it up, and that made the smelting process more efficient. Now the reason I'm out here sweating and dehydrating is I got a couple pieces of information that there may have been an ore roaster out here. One was years ago, I used to do Facebook videos. And I did this site, that's probably been three or four years ago. And I got a comment on that that the furnace was not the the furnace down there was not the only furnace in the valley 
and I kind of dismissed it because I thought they might they were talking about this here right here which is the remains of the boiler house from the 1895 to 1905 sawmill two weeks ago I was on an archaeological dig the archaeologist had visited this site years ago and he told me that a local resident told him that there was an ore roaster in the vicinity of the, of the ore pits now they could do it a couple different ways they could just you know throw it on the ground at, and roast it over wood coals uh, do it in a pit or in most efficiently in what looked like a mini blast furnace and saying that there was an ore roaster implied to me that there was a structure so that's what I was looking for and uh, I you know I searched the lidar found you know potential site which turned out to be a rock formation uh, I have to say at this point that the ore roaster is probably as mythical as Bigfoot and and the uh, high-speed internet for everybody but hey, it wasn't a total loss. Found uh, that structure down by the tail race from the water-powered sawmill. There was uh, another foundation across the creek over here, and a couple more ore pits. So, yeah, you know, it wasn't a good. And and I got to take take a cheap shot at the local politicians. I'm not above that, obviously. So, uh, yeah, some days are like this. You just, what you're looking for just isn't there. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. And remember, we do have a Facebook page now. It's a private page, so you're not going to see, you know, a bunch of stupid stuff on here. Uh, you have to, of course, you have to uh, ask to join. But if you are interested, serious about history, and about this area, you will be more than welcome. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Hey all, welcome to Forest County. I guess that's what I wanted to say. Uh, but, what was I going to say? I forget what I was going to say. Cut. 30. Cross Pernis. Screwed up again. <laughs>